Guys, a massive ant war is happening in my yard. This almost 3,000 square meter plot of land on which we are building the future ant house. In a previous video, I did an initial probe to see what ants lived in the area by laying down baits and we were unpleasantly surprised to see that two of the baits attracted invasive ant species. Species that had been introduced to the ecosystem of the area from other countries through human activities. Namely ghost ants, feral ants, and black crazy ants. Thankfully the third bait attracted native ants, big-headed ants, and Asian marauder ants. But this imbalance told me that the invasive ants were indeed present where our future ant house was being built. And this wasn't such a good thing for the ecosystem particularly for the native ants who've long dominated these lands for millions of years, but who are now at risk of getting killed, pushed out, or outcompeted by the invasive ants, encroaching onto native ant ancestral grounds. And so AC family, this week, I decided to scour the entire property to get to the bottom of who was winning in this epic ant war over territory and resources in my yard. Team native ants or team invasive ants? To answer this question, I sought out to map the exact locations of all the native ant colonies and invasive ant colonies we came across. And guys, you won't believe what we found. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. Guys, welcome to the future ant house. A home currently under construction, which will feature a large two-story ant room designed to house our current and future pet ant colonies on this channel. This new ant room will be almost 20 times the floor area of our current ant room, which is just one of the rooms in my condo we've come to call the Antiverse. But outside our future Antiverse is an expansive and lush tropical landscape, which I've come to discover is truly abundant with life. Let's give these outdoor lands a name now, AC family. If the ant room is the Antiverse, the outside world will from now on be referred to as Antopia. Antopia is full of plants, trees, flowers, wildlife, and of course, as you're about to see, lots and lots of ants. But upon surveying these great territories, I've come to realize that it's currently the battleground of several ant tribes. Tribes of which, in my mind, fall under two major teams. Team Native Ants and Team Invasive Ants. Now before I show you where each ant tribe is encamped, let me quickly show you the difference between Invasive Ants and Native Ants, in case you're new to such terms. Native Ants are basically ants that are endemic and have naturally lived in an area for millions of years. They have long been a part of the ecosystem and contribute to the natural flow of the food web, with many other life forms depending on them and they depending on other native life forms. Invasive ants, however, are ants that have migrated to an area, are usually relatively new and introduced to an ecosystem from a faraway country. They're basically aliens, ecologically speaking, that can totally disrupt a local ecosystem and wreak havoc on native ant populations. They travel to new areas by way of human activities like importation of products, produce, or plants via air or sea, and proliferate in new lands. Some of these migrating ants end up dying due to alien environments, but some manage to survive and thrive. Many invasive ants reproduce faster than native ants, are more aggressive, some have certain biological advantages like being able to form super colonies, and are just all around tougher. If invasive ants wipe out native ants, you know it could mean trouble for a delicate ecosystem that took millions of years to establish. And so Antopia here, as I've discovered, is currently the venue of such an epic ant war for survival and resources. And for the good of all the creatures that are living parts of Antopia's sacred ecosystem, I hoped while surveying the lands that Team Native Ants were winning the Great Antopian War. It was time to see how many colonies of native ants I could find versus how many colonies of invasive ones. This was going to get crazy. AC family, behold the bird's eye map of Antopia. 
Now here's how we're going to do this. We are going to keep a tally of how many colonies of native ants we find and how many colonies of invasive ants we find. And I'm going to place markers at the site of their nests. I feel this will give us a better idea as to how many native ants versus invasive ants Antopia is housing. Just a note though that just because two species of ants are native, it doesn't necessarily mean they won't battle each other. And same goes for invasive ants. With some exceptions, as a general rule, an ant colony will fight another ant colony, regardless of species, and regardless of native or invasive status. Most ant colonies will claim a space as their territory and defend it to the death from anyone. But for our purposes, tallying the nests of native ants versus invasive ants will give us a better idea how healthy and secure Antopia's ecosystem is. If we see lots of invasive ant colonies on the map, for instance, and only a few native ant colonies, we know we're in trouble. In a previous video, we already spotted three species of invasive ants, here and here, and two species of native ants, here. Though all of these, except for the pharaoh ants, were just sightings and not the locations of their nests, I will still mark them down on the map with the assumption that their nests were somewhere nearby. So right off the bat, Team Invasive Ants were already in the lead. But AC family, we still had a lot of ground to cover before drawing any conclusions. It's time to venture through Antopia and begin our ant exploration and colony survey. I found our very first ant colony here on the Antopia map. As I was walking down this hill, a very busy ant trail caught my eye. Have a look. The opening to the nest was quite a busy sight. Judging from the commotion, it seemed the ants were busy digging out a nest but also possibly transporting some of their nest luggage to another satellite nest nearby, perhaps. Not sure. So for all of you ant experts, can you guess what species this is? If you've been following the channel for a while, you may recognize them. Well, if you're not sure, check out what I saw at the opening. A super major. Guys, I'm happy to report that these ants are Asian marauder ants, Carabara diversa and a very healthy and active colony belonging to Team Native Ants. Endemic to Southeast Asia, these ants are polymorphic and have massive supermajors with huge heads which act as the jaw force of the colony. Mostly defense, digging, and cutting things open. Some ants even ride these supermajors, like mounts, to save energy. We've actually kept the species before in our Antiverse, if you recall the Titans. They're incredible ants with massive queens and super majors and a huge appetite, which is why I love them so much. All right, guys, so marking down the Asian Marauder Ant Colony onto the map, which brings Team Native Ants to a tie with Team Invasive Ants. Three Native Ant sightings versus three Invasive Ant sightings. Let's move on. Just a few steps lower on the hill, we found the Marauder Ants' enemies. Let's see if you recognize these ants taking a stick and raking it through the soil a bit. And AC family, behold, the ever notorious fire ants. This very invasive and stinging species is no stranger to us on this channel. The late Fire Nation, my previous fire ant colony who lived in the Selva de Fuego, and the current Phoenix Empire living in the Ember Islands are not ants to mess with. I'm sure this wild colony was just as fierce and a danger to any team native ants of Antopia. What makes these ants even more dangerous for the plants of the ecosystem is that this particular colony was farming colonies of aphids, protecting them and moving them around to healthy plants. This is also what makes fire ants a very serious agricultural danger in other countries they have managed to invade, including the US. They protect and propagate plant pests, which is not good. Some ant scientists I know recommend that you simply pour boiling water repeatedly over a fire ant nest to kill the colony if you ever see them in the wild. Unless of course you're from South America where they're native. I of course won't be doing that here, but knowing fire ants were residents of Antopia was a good thing for us to know. Team invasive ants are now in the lead at three native to four invasive sightings. Moving on, at this huge acacia tree where we had placed one of our baits before, I caught sight of some pretty insane action. AC family, check this out. 
a group of weaver ants had seized a caterpillar and were now working cooperatively to bring it up the tree to their nest. The caterpillar was still alive and struggling for its life, but it had clearly been weakened by the weaver ants' formic acid sprays and tugging from all sides. Check out how big of an operation this was! This was no easy task. Looking up to the acacia tree, I managed to spot their nest. It was small, which meant this colony was still young, but it was great to know they were present in Antopia because they belong to Team Native Ants. As you may know, we've also kept Weaver Ants on this channel called the Emerald Empire, which I released back into the wild during lockdown in my city earlier this year. I've actually seen their nest while running around my neighborhood. Okay, so being part of Team Native Ants, I'm adding them to the map, and our tally is now tied 4-4. Now guys, also on this tree, I spotted another small colony of ants that seemed to be moving their brood to a new location within holes in the tree trunk. Have a look at them, guys. I initially thought they were pharaoh ants, but no, they seem different. Any ant experts out there want to take a stab at ID? Now, because they don't look like any of the notorious invasive ant species I know, I'm inclined to say these ants are native, but I won't add them to the tally right now, and we'll just mark them on the map as Unknown Tribe. Now, as I moved over to a nearby pile of branches and sticks, which had actually been felled from the big acacia tree, I spotted some pretty awesome ants I have never yet seen in person. Crawling around the branches were these very active and long black ants, Check them out! These cute and swift ants are called Tetraponera ants, basically the Southeast Asian counterpart of twig ants, aka Pseudomyrmex species, from the Americas. They're called twig ants because they live within sticks and twigs. Check out the openings to their nest. I even caught the Tetraponera ants feeding from honeydew from a mealybug. I'm happy to report that these Tetraponera ants are from Team Native Ants. Yay! This puts Team Native Ants in the lead at 5 to 4. I spent the next few hours scouring the lands and found another busy fire ant colony at another location on the hill. A quick sighting of Odonta Panera, a native ant species, a group of these weird looking flies that were actually mimics of weaver ants and even moved like weaver ants. But guys, the last colony I found before I decided to call it a day was here on the map. Would the team invasive ant sightings tie with native ant sightings? If this was the case, this was not good odds for team native ants, as even a tie would eventually mean team invasives would come out on top, as invasives simply are too great a force. Would I have to resort to pouring boiling water on invasive ant colonies for the sake of Antopia's native ants and all life within it? AC family, this was the ant colony I saw. Another colony of weaver ants. And in one of the worker's jaws, a killed fire ant, which it was bringing up to the nest to eat. It seems the Asian weaver ants are savage. They were even tearing up this egg sack of who knows what, a spider, a moth, and pulling the eggs out also to eat. Based on the number of ants I saw on this tree, it was clear this was a mature colony and established. Seeing them gave me hope. The score was now seven to five for Team Native Ants. And assuming that unknown diminutive ant colony on the acacia tree was a native ant species, our score could possibly even be eight to five for Team Native Ants. I believe Antopia will be okay. Though it's the site of a current push between native and invasive forces, I did feel that our native ants of the area were indeed fighting against invasive enemy lines. And you know what else, guys? After thinking about it further, I know deep down that though in our heads, it does seem like Team Native Ants are the good guys of this war, and Team Invasive Ants are the bad guys. In reality, they're all inherently good. And it's not the fault of Team Invasives that they've been imported to new lands worldwide and have become so successful. If ever, we humans are the ones to blame. And you want to hear something totally messed up? So in last week's episode, you saw that someone gave me a huge Fedoli super colony, collected when splitting open a bamboo stalk. 
The colony had a ton of brood, millions of workers, and hundreds of egg-laying queens. My initial plan was to possibly release them into Antopia, in hopes to help boost Team Native ant populations and overpower Team Invasive ants. But I asked you guys what you thought about that plan. Now get this, turns out the majority of UAC family wanted to keep them forever instead. And you know what? It's a good thing you guys did. Because I'm totally ashamed that I didn't know this, but this Fedoli colony might actually be a very invasive ant species called Fedoli megacephala, originally native to Africa. I knew the name, but had never seen them before and had no idea they were found in my area. Fedoli megacephala are considered one of the most problematic invasive ant species and have caused devastating environmental problems all over the world. Now I'm still getting species ID verification from my myrmecologist friend on this, but for now, I'm definitely keeping the colony and not releasing them. Good call, AC family. Anyway, going back to Antopia, I will continue to search the territories for more ant colonies over time, as I'm sure I may have missed a ton of nests during my search, and keep tabs on the currently documented ant colonies. I think as long as Team Native Ant Sightings outnumber the Team Invasive Ant Sightings, we should be okay. I'll continue to update this map of Antopia as I find new and exciting ant colonies involved in this great Antopian ant war. Thank you for watching and supporting the ants. It's ant love forever. AC family, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. So many more ant videos are ahead. So if you haven't yet, do smash that subscribe button and bell icon now and hit all so you get notified at every upload. Also, don't forget to hit the like button every single time, including now. It would really mean a lot to me, guys. Thank you. AC and our colony, I have left a hidden cookie for you here. If you would like to watch extended play footage of the ants of Antopia, go check them out. And guys, in case you haven't heard yet, our AC Holiday Sale 2020, where you get 20% off our AC Ant Tower Small and AC Hybrid Nest Mini, is still in effect at our shop at antscanada.com. And on top of that, if you use the promo code ANTLOVEFOREVER2020, you get our Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook eBook, complete with care guides on specifically commonly kept ant species, totally free which you can add to your cart before checking out. Our easy to use ant farms, which you see me use in my videos, make an awesome holiday gift for anyone who loves ants. We ship worldwide and also offer full email support if you need our help. Plus, if you didn't catch a queen ant this season and need ants, just visit the Queen Ants for Sale tab on our site to look for an ant colony seller in your area. Just a reminder that though it's too late to order for delivery before Christmas, this awesome promo still continues until January 1st, 2021. So visit AntsCanada.com today and get your discount to own your very first AC ant farm and pet ant colony. And now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week we asked, what is polymorphism in ants? Congratulations to Clarilyn Abergus, who answered, Polymorphism in ants is when the workers of the colony come in different sizes. Congratulations, Clarilyn, you just won a free Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook from our shop. In this week's AC Question of the Week, we ask, Which ant colony living in Antopia was your favorite and why? Leave your answer in the comment section and you could also win a free Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love Forever.